morning students in the previous video we have discussed about different types of indexing like single level indexing multi level indexing in single level indexing we have primary indexing secondary indexing clustering indexing in multi level indexing we have b trees and d plus trees so now we will discuss about all the single level indexing like first we will discuss about the primary indexing now the primary indexing why we will call it as a primary indexing is that the indexing is done on the primary key on the main table suppose let's take that we have a main data file is there this is our main data file okay in main data file we have certain number of records are there because a file consists of a records record is a collection of fields we have already discussed in the this introduction about the file management that we have a database database is a collection of files and file is a collection of records records is a collection of fields so let's take that we have four fields in our data file file number a b and c and d now we in this one let's take that a is the primary key i think everyone know what is a primary key okay so i will not discuss what is a primary key all these things in the previous videos we have discussed what is a primary key so let's take that a is a primary key so i can say that there are no null values and there are no duplicate values will be there in the a and one more point is that the data file is a ordered file meaning is that what is the meaning of the ordered file is that on a primary key we have done the ordering because if it is a primary key it is not compulsory that all the values if you see that the values are from 1 to 9 are in order but primary key will not say that all the elements should be in the ordered way they it will say that it should not consist of any null values and it should not consist of any duplicate values that only it will say means all the values should be unique but what i am saying is that we have done the sorting on the or we have made it as an order based on the primary key on wait a so we have some values for b c d i am not considering them so what i have done there all these nine records i have made it into three blocks block 1 block 2 and block 3 okay so with this one we will discuss what is a primary key so i hope everyone has understood that primary indexing why it is called as that we are performing indexing on the primary key of the ordered data file so why it is required because when we are writing the sql queries usually we will write on query on some field this field means select where is that a is equal to something so then when we are writing the queries like that on a primary key if we have an indexing then the searching will be easy so the indexing concept is mainly is for to reduce the searching complexity so we will do discuss now how to do, draw the indexing table so as i said earlier indexing file will consists of only two fields what are the two fields one is the key value one is the key value and another one is the block pointer or block number okay index file is a small file which consists of the key value and block pointer so we will first set the values in the index file and then we will go for the corresponding block to identify the record <coughs> excuse me so now the first thing is that as i said earlier the index file is small as compared to the data file so what are the entries will be there as we said that it will have two fields but what are the entries will be there so we have divided the main file into three blocks block 1 and block 2 and block 3 so each block the first entry if you see that in this block this is the block entry so in this entry what is the value is there is 1 okay and what is the block number is also one so it is point into this one so in each block we will not write all the three records in this one we will write only the first record that one we will call it as an anchor record okay or anchor for the corresponding block so we will write the only the anchor entry and the corresponding block pointer and if you see that for this block the an anchor is 4 so the first record we will write and 
what is the block number 2 so it will be pointing to the block number 2 and if I for this one I will write 7 here because the first record is 7 and the block number is 3 so we will point to this one so we have constructed the index file the index file consists of key value and block pointer and each entry will have the only the anchor of the block means the first record in the block will be there now if you see that in this main file we have nine entries but in the index file we have only three entries so we can search easily suppose if i want to search the record one we will go to the block pointer one now if you see that next four is nothing but one two three are belongs to block number one and four and seven means four five six belongs to block number two seven eight nine will belongs to block number three okay so if you see this one what is this indexing whether it is a dense indexing or sparse indexing we have already discussed what is a dense indexing and what is a sparse indexing what we have discussed in the dense indexing in dense indexing index file will consist of an entry for all the records is it clear if it is a dense indexing all the entries 1 2 3 up to 9 all the entries there will be an entry for in the index block but if you see whereas in sparse indexing only entries will be there for few records or some records if so if you see that out of nine records we have only three entries in the index file so i can proudly say that it is uh, using the sparse index concept so okay so it is using the sparse indexing so that the index file is small and it is easy to search okay so i hope you have understood what is a primary indexing in shortcut i can write it as ordered data file plus primary key meaning is that the indexing is done on the primary key on the main file and the file is also in the order okay i hope you have understood what is a primary indexing and all the related concepts thank you so much